Hello friends, today we're going to be going over protocol extensions and categories. So let's start with uh, making a new project. So let's go to file, new, new project. Let's make a single view. Let's say try or whatever. And create a new project. So now let's go over uh, what is what is categories. So basically, let's start making with it. And then I'll explain you. You go to new file, uh, and then you say Objective C file. And then add a category. Okay, and then you add it to like whichever class you want. N string. So basically, categories are used for adding methods to an already existing class. So like N string class. If I want to add methods to N string class, the code is not given to you, right? Because this is an Apple class. But I want to add methods to it. So I can just make it a category and then write the method name. Just say. And since this is a class method, so we start with a plus. We say void. Uh, and a string. So this is a class method. We start with uh, and a string. And a string method. Users. Okay. And now we instantiate this class. Uh, now we just implement this method. So the method implementation is successful. Okay, and now you have to import this class in a string plus h category dot h, and then you come inside category dot m, and now you can just simply call that method. So in a string what is the name of the method uh, user method method uh, let's go inside this class let's see the name in a string method user in a string method user so now we have successfully made a method and now if we call this method so that method will be called now So as soon as it loads, the method will be called. The method implementation is successful. And now you can also make it like a return type. So you can change it to int. You can say return, return five. And then you can say void. This has a return type. And now you can just say int i equals to then five and then you can just n is log percentage d comma i so now our custom method which n string class will have a return value of five which will be printed so see it works and that is it the categories are used to add methods to an already existing class then you have a different thing as extension this is super simple thing the same thing or c file and you add a add a extension. So the extensions will only have a .h file. So extensions are just are just to declare methods. It is just to declare a meta signature. So you can't really make it of type. You can't really make it. Uh, you can't really uh, do it for Apple classes because you do not have the implementation. So categories are the one used a lot because over there you can have implementations. So now let's remove the category, we don't need it. Now let's talk about protocols. So what is the exact use of protocols? So protocols are used to, used to uh, import, used to call methods from other classes. So for that we have to add another class. So the way you do it is let's make, an, let's add another class. Uh, four inches. You add four inches. Uh, just you can just file new. Mm. Mm. 
just say second this is a view control error okay like the storyboard you have instantiate this class and the second you give it a storyboard name second and you give this class name okay so this is our second class so now we have a button have a button over here and now the button will take us to this class and now embed this one in our navigation view editor embedded in navigation controller okay so now you so now you you connect this class as you can just simply say view controller dot m BT in action okay mm. And this one, okay. So in this one, so for going to storyboard, we have to first instantiate the second hash import. Now make of class star uh, second VC. Equal to second Alex in it. You basically instantiate this class and then you say self dot dot navigation controller and then it will go push view controller just have to say second Instance. show controller then you say second we see say animated yes now you basically add this code so you don't instantiate you instantiate through storyboard so you say self dot storyboard instantiate view controller uh, view con instantiate view control with identifier and you give it the storyboard name second right so now you have to give second um. okay. then you have to run it and once you hit second now the now it goes to the second view okay so now we make our protocol so now we come over here we have to make a protocol so you go into the dot h file always give it the protocol my protocol and method just make a method protocol protocol method hash property no meta make assign uh, now you make it of type id and since it is my protocol my protocol so we are making a variable of type protocol and then we enter protocol okay now we have made a variable of this thing now inside my view controller let's just add these methods who did appear and so you did appear I will just check whether the protocol uh, whether the protocol uh, where has been instantiated or not if it's instantiated then you just say protocol dot uh, so you call this method protocol method Since we are calling a method, we have to use the uh, space notation or let us see notation. Okay, so we are calling this method. Now the question is, where is this protocol method implemented? Now this method will be implemented inside of view controller dot m. Okay, so over here you first allocate protocol equal to self. 
now you're basically saying the protocol where this property this property has the address of this view controller self and now you can implement this method so it's void protocol This is the method name, right? Protocol method. Yes. Hi, I am able to print from my first view. Okay, and that is it. So we check whether the protocol variable has been instantiated and if it has and just call this method so now this method will be called from this view controller okay now let's play um, you see so it's getting played uh, basically what happens so when you go to this view controller so this method is called okay you can also say not navigation controller pop view controller and image yes so now what happens so over here we call this method so over here we are instantiating this class and pushing it and then we are also instantiating this variable this property and then we are saying so what is basically happening we are over here so uh, from the first view controller we are instantiating this class and then we instantiating this property and saying the address of this property is inside this class and then we push so once you come inside this class we say that we check whether this whether variable is instantiated once it is instantiated then we call this method of this variable protocol method because this variable is of type this protocol so it has this method now once we call this method and then we go to the previous view controller so as soon so over here we call this method over here we call this method and the method will be executed in this class let's see so this method is not is is not called right now this method will be called once we go over here it will break so now we inside this loop now we call this method so now this method will go back to first view controller see and now we will print this method and now we will come to our first view controller because that's how we programmed it or you can also be in the second view controller if you wish just remove this code so basically from the second view controller we are able to call the method in the first view controller now hit play see you are still in the second view but still you are able to call the methods in the first view okay. the same thing okay okay guys so this is the concept of categories extensions and and protocols see you next time and please uh, subscribe to my channel